Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will post the question, how would you implement the for each loop without using the for each keyword? Let us understand all of our inputs. Here is the class object we will use, purchase order. It has five fields. We have two columns of high interest, lines 14 and 15. Order status type is an enum, and line 15, date time is nullable. Here is how I configured order status type. I declared it as an integer and then my values. Here is the data for the object purchase order. The goal of this is to write a for loop to get the records where the status is fin. Write a link statement that uses the where clause to only include the records where the status code equals order status type dot fin. You have already seen the function get purchase orders. Remember, it returns a list of purchase orders, and I believe there were five in them. Now, the goal of line 14 is to take that list orders and for where, and then notice status is actually an enum, and the enum is of type integer, so you have to cast that appropriately. So notice I said where the int of p.status equal equal the end of order status type dot fin. And then that right there does its where statement and I get back the three rows. Now there's a probably a million other ways to do this. This is just one of them. And here is the question of this video. I want you to implement a for each loop without using the for each loop keyword for the statement on lines 18 to 21. Hey, press pause now. You have about 10 seconds and then you type the answer and then continue this video. Press pause, hurry. And here is my solution to this problem. It all begins on line 17. Notice we are saying using I enumerator and then some type. The type will be purchase order. Then we have our variable then all finished orders was the result from the line 14. So I used the where clause and I only wanted the fin. And then notice we said get enumerator. Now that enumerator got assigned to the variable enumerator and then while enumerator move next. So it's just going to stay inside of that loop until there are no more items. On line 18, for each var order in all finished order, remember when we did that? Remember on the for each statement, for each var order and results? Well, when we say on line 21, var po equals enumerator.current, both lines load the perspective variable with all the fields that are associated with that single record. Then on line 22, we just print those values. As a tropical storm approaches Florida, and I finish yet another video of Link, I hope you were able to learn several things about watching this video. While this video was simple, it does build some core knowledge. And there you have it, team. Please consider a thumbs up, Leave a comment to help not only myself, but other students. And consider subscribing if you'd like to follow my channel. Okay, this video is done, and I will see you back in my next video. Have a great week.